Alright, so we are at the Ice Cavern. So let's just check around here. Alright. Okay, so there's these, um... Oh, dang it! Really? Really? Whatever. Alright, you're done. Oh, dang it, I'm frozen. I'm frozen again. I guess you could say I need to let it go. Let it go. Never mind, I'm not gonna sing it. To be honest, I never seen the movie Frozen, so I really can't say if I have enjo enjoyed it or not, but I don't know. Oh well, anyways, we're just gonna go through. Ooh, that was pretty close. Oh dang it. Why can't I hit this jar thing? Okay, there we go. Alright, um, okay. So here are these, um, silver rupees, which are pretty new later on at that point. So what you want to do is that they serve a purpose in, like, um, in the story. Well, not in the story, but, like, progressing in the dungeon. And if you collect all five of them, you will unlock a door or whatever in, in there, so yeah. Ah, dang it. Alright. So, there's the um, last one. Alright, I kind of rode onto it, but I think I um, didn't take any damage. I didn't pay attention, but whatever. Is there anything else I'm missing? Nah, whatever. Anyways, let's just go through here. There we go. Alright. Alright, so let's go back. Oh, go back. Go. Let's climb up. Oh, dang it. That's stupid ice keys. Oh, uh, really annoying. Really? Whatever. No, no, no. Why did I just derp? There you go, you're done. Jeez, really annoying. Alright. There you go. You're done. Give me them arrows. Alright, so there's this blue fire and the... Uh, okay, this blue fire, it doesn't seem natural. Maybe you can use it for something. And here's what you need to do. You gotta use up a bottle to make room for it, which I don't even know why. Whatever. I might as well drink up my half portion of milk. For some reason, I'm kind of searching for some milk, but I don't know. I really don't want to waste any milk right now. Alright, so we got a blue fire. So what you need to do is... You see that red ice over there? Yeah, you need to um, light that up with the blue fire, and then you can, like... Check out what in the um ice or take care of the um ice walls as well so that you can like open this chest let's just say for that particular example all right so i guess we get the map yep get the dungeon map See if I can, like, jump over here. Yes, I can. So you might have to collect as many, um, blue fighters as you can. If you have, like, two bottles, I guess that's fine. I don't know. If, you know three would be an overkill. But, you know, whatever. You need to have blue fighters with you every time. Otherwise, it's gonna be hard to progress. And, yeah, this ice cavern is pretty much a tedious dungeon to go through, so, oh well. By the way, let me check. I guess there's only one floor. Hmm. Alright. So. Okay, so you see this um wall right here? You have to use your um blue fire right there, so. That's gonna be a hassle to like, you know, use it up. Then restock. And then rinse and repeat. Yeah, that's pretty much... A bit annoying, but whatever. Alright, so that piece is done. 
Um, great. I need to, like, equip my hook shot. Alright, taken care of. Okay, so this chest must be the, um, compass. Wait, did I... There's a piece of art! Oh my god! Are you serious? Man, this one I think, you know, collecting three was too soon. My generosity must be coming to me. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I'll do it just for that piece of heart. So I can get myself a heart container. Alright, so but first let me open that chest. So that has the compass. And no, there's no um dungeon boss key in here because this is not a important dungeon to get that um next medallion or whatever. It's just so you know, get like an important item for like the later dungeon. So yeah. Alright, so I might as well use up that um blue fire to get that piece of heart, and then we can get ourselves that 12 heart! Nice! Now we have 12 hearts. Man. It's a really good idea to do side questing. Even if it seems boring or whatever, because it will help you out later on. Alright, so we just gotta watch out from those spinning ice blades. And then we just gotta use that blue fire on this wall. And I might as well restock another blue fire. Okay, I got hit. Just in case another one is important. So, yeah. Alright, so we got ourselves another blue fire. So let's go back. Oh, man. Alright. Alright, so... That was pretty close. Alright. Um, okay, so we have this puzzle hassle to go through. There we go. Oh yeah, there's a blue flyer, but whatever, that's fine. Alright, I just had to take care of him. I didn't want to, like, go through all this hassle. Alright, so... Ooh, there's another gold sculptula. So I might as well do that. There we go. So let me go push this over here. Climb up. Get that rupee. Oh, let me go get that other rupee over here. Alright. Um. Yeah, let's... No, 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 no. don't climb up here. Alright, so push this block over there. And we gotta climb up. And then we gotta use that blue fire. Alright. Got rupee number three. And... Gotta, like, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Never mind, forget it. I'm not gonna sing it anymore. Um, alright, so we gotta push this block over here. And then we gotta get that, um, thing. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> alright, nice. Alright, cool. You know what? For some reason, I need to collect another blue flame because... Blue fire, I should say. Because I do need it to free that um, Zora print. Zora King. Besides, he will give me a, the um, Zora tunic to help me out in the um, water temple.
Alright, got ourselves a blue fire. And... Let's see. Alright, gotta watch now I don't fall down. Because I need to, like, push this block back. Actually... There's no point, because now... I can't put it back. So I'm just gonna push it away. Goodbye. Oh yeah, I might as well um switch my items back in case. Let me go save, by the way. Alright, so what I need to do is Alright. Let me just, you know, go through my puzzle solving strategy. Here. Push that there. Let's see. Push this block here. It's probably gonna fall down, so I'm gonna push this over there. Push this over here. Let's see. Um yeah, let me push this over there. Um, hold on. Something isn't right. You know, let's see if we can climb up over there from here. Oh, yeah, we got it. We got it. Yeah! Exploiting the roots! Alright, we've taken care of that thing. You have got to be kidding me. Really? Oh my god. Do I have to waste a blue fire? Oh my god. Seriously, this is so stupid. Whatever. Whatever. I guess that's fine. Alright. Who's the boss? It's the big wolf. There we go. That was the greatest boss fight ever. That was even harder than any boss fight I've ever experienced in a video game like this. Alright, let's go take that, um... Big chest inside. Whatever's inside there. It is the iron boots. So heavy you can't run. So heavy you can't float. So heavy I can't even talk. So heavy I can't even survive that boss fight I had. We meet again, A eh, Perez. If you came here to meet them Zoras, you wasted your time, you fool. I mean that is all there is. With one exception, the Soros are now sealed under this sick ice sheet. Whoa, that's pretty dark. I managed to rescue the Zora princess from under the ice, but she left to head for the water temple. This ice is created by an evil curse. The monster in the water temple is the source of the curse. Unless you shut off the source, this ice will never melt. If you have courage enough to confront the danger and save the Soros, I will teach you the melody that leads to the temple. Time passes. People move. Like a river's flow, it never ends. A childish mind will turn to a noble ambition. Young love will become deep affection. The clear water surface reflects growth. Now listen to the serenade of water to reflect upon yourself. Alright, so we gotta play the Serenade of Water in order to find that dungeon that she was talking about. Or the temple, I should say. <laughs> I like how it just gave that icy effect for this scene. That's pretty neat. But still, the Zoras, though, they're cursed. To this icy, snowy figment. Well, not figment, but they're just cursed into snow and ice. That's just wrong. Hey, Perez, 
I'll see you again. Wait, 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 let me count the... Dang it! Whatever. Alright, so... Now that we got the iron boots... Gotta equip it, and we gotta save. So you'll walk pretty slowly. But you'll walk pretty fine on underwater. So that makes some logical sense. And also, you gotta switch back item. item. You gotta switch back, you know, to your um, iron boots and to your normal boots and vice versa every time. So that's another hassle in this game. If you're playing on 3DS, it's an, it's an actual item that you can swap out without too much of a hassle. But, yeah. So, anyways. Let me go collect a, um, a flame. Oh, dang that stupid keys. Whatever. Alright, so I got a blue fire. So let's get out of this dungeon. I came here for the iron boots, so... That's pretty handy. And that will come handy for the water temple, believe me. The water temple is going to be so tedious. It's not going to be a very fun dungeon to explore. But yeah. Um, let me go switch to my um, item in case I press the button on accident and waste that blue fire. Don't you get that feeling when you're, um, you know... You have an item that's wasteable and then you press it on accident? I do get that sometimes. But anyways... Oh yeah! I did say... Uh, dang it! Why did I press the L button? Jeez! Alright, so let's check down below. This... Can't breathe underwater. If you start choking, take off those boots. Yeah, there is a piece of heart. Might as well go collect that. Nice! So that's... The first one we got after collecting another one. So that's neat. If there wasn't a piece of heart in that ice cavern, I would still have 12 hearts anyways. But, yeah. Alright, as long as we climb back up before I start drowning to death. Alright, nice. So let's go back. And rescue that Zora King. From that strong melted ice of red. That is cursed by evil. Alright, so. Let me equip my blue fire. And save that Zora King. Nice. Let me go talk to him. Come on. Oh, dang it. Why isn't it letting me lock on? What's wrong, game? There we go. Oh, I've come back to life. Was it you who saved me? Don't be nervous. It looks like you have a hard time breathing underwater. As an expression of my gratitude, I grant you this tunic. With this, you won't choke underwater. Nice. We got a Zora tunic. This diving suit is adult size, so it won't fit a kid or a squid. Not even a squid would wear this. Wear it, and you won't drown underwater. Nice! So let's go equip that. Looking very royal bluish. Alright, let me go switch my bottle back. Alright, so now that we have the um, Zora tunic, I guess we can go to Lake Hylia. And here's another thing. You could use another blue fire on this to go to the shop, but I don't think I really need to right now, so I won't bother. But yeah, let's go find that temple that Sheik spoke of.
Alright, so we are at Lake Hylia. And so we just gotta find the, um. Alright. So. Here we go. So let me go switch to my iron boots. Alright, save my game. Then we just gotta shoot that hookshot there. And that should release that crystal shaped thing. That should give us access to the dungeon right there.